Infinite Combos in Smash 3DS and Wii U are a bit harder to come across. Like They're definitely there, there's some characters that have them, but usually it's only in scenarios where they're fighting a specific other character, so therefore you can't really say that they're infinite combos to be used on everybody. But it seems like Mega Man has one that could potentially reach other characters besides just one, but this showcase is for just the villager. Now some of you may have seen this already, but this is an infinite combo with Mega Man. requires an insane amount of accuracy to pull it off, including dropping the metal blade and whatnot, although this doesn't really look too difficult for somebody who mains a Mega Man. If we're talking Styles X2, then I mean, this is nothing for that boy. But as you guys can see here, the process of getting this infinite combo going, I mean, it looks complex at first, but actually now that I'm paying attention, it's not all that, it's not all that confusing. <clears throat> you have to do a head hop. <clears throat> I don't know the official term, I just call it a head hop, but um, you have to do a head hop, have a metal blade in your hand, drop it as you're going up, then head hop once more. So you're head hopping twice on them, and when they get hit from the metal blade, you're hopping off their head once more. And they can't get up right away because they're on the ground laying down, and they, they're forced to get up in that manner, and then you just finish it off. So I mean, definitely an infinite. If you have the accuracy to pull it off, I'm not sure if this works on any other characters. The person who uploaded this is Japanese, so I'm, I'm guessing they're not really... I mean, I'm sure other people have tested this though, but let's see what some of the comments are saying about this. So, but Villager could easily tech out of most of that. And um, you can't tech a footstool, exactly. And that's the main reason why this combo is technically infinite. You can go on with this as long as you want, or at least until the stage runs out, because you move forward with it every time you pull it off. So. Once you get to the end of the stage though, they pretty much have around, they're in kill range at that point. And since you cannot tech out of getting um, footstool, and since you shoot them on the ground with the Mega Buster, they're forced to get up in that manner. I really don't know the official lingo for this, but I play this game religiously, so I know the tech by controller and sight, I just don't know it by name. But um, it's crazy seeing this kind of thing happen. There was somebody who was able to pull off an infinite combo using Zero Suit against Robin, which made me cry, but at the end of the day, hey, I mean, it's glad, it's good that more information about this is coming out. One thing I wanted to bring up with you dudes, have any of you been trying out Perfect Pivoting, which is the new Wave Dash alternative? I've been trying myself, and I've been getting more accustomed to using the gamepad because um, one thing that I had as a complaint is that you cannot use a 3DS as a controller for the Wii U version if you're playing for glory. So it's a bit of a ball buster because I was I was thinking that I was going to be able to stick with the 3DS controller and I fully accommodated my whole lifestyle to the 3DS and now I can't. But I mean if you look at the gamepad for the Wii U for the 3DS, I mean they're sort of similar, you know, they both have the shoulder buttons at the same size and whatnot and um, they both have the same layout in terms of buttons here. And plus, on the gamepad, you get a nice little C-stick. I know a lot of you guys are saying, you know what, well, rather than use the gamepad, why don't you use the fucking GameCube controller? But I'm, I know I'm gonna, I'm gonna get so many people ripping my ass for this, but I, I just don't like the GameCube controller right now. It's not, it's not comfortable for me. I mean, it's not, it's not uniform. It's not, it's not symmetrical. There we go. The GameCube controller isn't as symmetrical as I would like, and the buttons, they're a bit odd for me. The placement's bad, but trust me, it, it'll, it'll work out. I think I'm going to be okay with the gamepad. We'll see. Um, anyways, guys, so what do you think about this infinite combo with Mega Man? We kind of got a little bit off topic there, but I would definitely like to see your opinions on this, and have you discovered an infinite that no one has seen yet? If you haven't, let me know, and I mean, if it's really that big, then I'll definitely try to see if I can feature it on this channel, but uh, I'll talk to you guys later, and by the way, Actually, no, I'll, I'll save it for next time. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.